long time ago. The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges, the occasional trick played on the little snots. There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal, an unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions' evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with Devious Evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself, a creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil, and the shadow had the perfect target in mind. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Twistrum with his comrades to see his foster daughter Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. 